go to the second game on Saturday, and I'm not going to lie, Grant. I have a lot of notes written down for this Eagles-Giants game. Eagles 38, Giants 7. You want me to read off my notes for uh, all the notes I wrote for this one? Yeah, fire away. Ass kicking. Uh, yep, yep. <laughs> that, that was all it is. That's, that's, all that's, it that's, that's, that's all I wrote. I was like, I was I sit down, and I'm like, I'm getting ready to write stuff down. And I was like, first drive, Eagles look surgical, methodical. You couldn't tell Lane Johnson or Jalen Hurts were hurt at all. It was like, oh, this looks like the Eagles from the start of the year. Mm-hmm. They they look rejuvenated. They look like a new football team. And you got Nick Sirianni just shaking his head, gotten that cocky, snarled, strong chin. and that, that he, very, he, very, He's a good coach, but God, does he have a punchable face. Very, very Northeastern. Northeastern vibe on Saturday night there. In North, Northeastern. Well, he's New New York Italian tough guy. Yeah, he 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 has that like guy like the fact that he play coaches for the Eagles can't stand him. If he was a coach of my, one of my teams, you'd love him. I would absolutely love him. Absolutely but, love him. But he he plays for like like the most scumbag team in the NFL. Well, and the worst fans in the NFL. Just Worst bad fans in the awful, NFL. Awful, everything. Awful, awful people in Philadelphia. They make Philly cheesesteaks taste bad. That's not possible. I I cannot agree with you there. I I can't I can't do it. Well, that's because you're a Chiefs fan and you got Kansas City barbecue. So, well, that's fair. You know. And then you know, don't get me wrong. The people of Philadelphia are a bunch of uneducated clowns. And have you ever watched the? Uh, have you ever douchey. listened to the Bill Burr rant? On Philadelphia, I have. Have you ever heard that? <laughs> I have. <laughs> that's uh, that, that that's how what, what Bill Burr says in that. If you haven't heard it yet, go listen to it. It's guaranteed to make you laugh because I know there's a lot of Vikings fans that listen to this that also do not like Philadelphia. Absolutely. And I'm just I'm 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 glad that Carson got out of there, so I don't have to like be somewhat happy when they win because Carson is was there. But yeah, that one was ugly. That's what should have happened with the Giants. I, it, it just proves that you know Vikings fans have to be kicking themselves for that. Well, and, and I don't know if I said it on here or after the Vikings game. I was watching the game with Ethan when they played the Giants, and the Giants were celebrating the big win. And I go, "Oh, they're going to get their ass kicked by Philadelphia. This 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 team doesn't stand a chance." And you know, people are talking all week. Oh, the Eagles, they haven't looked good since they played the Giants in Week 14. Jalen's hurt. The offense has been somewhat inconsistent. Is it going to be rust over rest? Uh, you know, rust over rest? And, well, no, they came out and just looked like a fine-tuned machine. And, you know, they, they've looked pissed off. Like, hmm, you're going to forget about us? Well, watch what we're about to do to this team, who everyone's saying could go on a 2007-type run. Stop it. 17? No, or, oh, the, oh, Giants, Giants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Giants, excuse me. Yeah, well, the, the people were, the, you know, the way the Eagles played the towards the end of the year, you know, that was the, they said the same thing about them in 2017 when they won the Super Bowl. That's that, true. Yeah, because that's Carson, what this looked this looked like. Except the Eagles played a little bit better of a team in 17. Well, yeah, they played and the, foul. the Giants, and the Giants, they, you know, they were a well coached team. They were not a Talent wise, they had no business doing anything this year. But mm-hmm. credit to Dable, that's why he's going to win Coach of the Year. And now there's, I'm knowing the Giants, they probably will sign Daniel Jones to a long extension. Well, they they came. I I read it on East Penn today that they said they plan on sticking with him. And I don't know why. I think this is a situation where you're. It's going to be. Similar to uh, another team in the playoffs, which we'll get to in a little bit here. I was going to say that, quarterback, but, but you beat me to it. But, you know, it, it's one of those conversations that, you know, you can't – don't lie to yourself. And, you know, I think what you're better off doing is doing what Pete Carroll did when he got hired in Seattle. You know, they went out and signed Matt Flynn. They drafted Russell Wilson. And they it was just throwing – throwing – Throwing darts at a dartboard until hoping one stick, and they they ended up doing it because being in cap hell and quarterback purgatory isn't good either. No, it's because not. you have to you you have to look and honestly say 
can Daniel Jones get us over the hump? Can he get us the championship weekend? And, you know, maybe if they get some better weapons around them, but it's tough, going to be tough when you're paying a quarterback $45 million. Mm -hmm. And especially, you know, Dexter Lawrence is going to be looking to get paid here probably shortly. I know Leonard Williams signed as a big free agent deal, you know, a couple of years ago. You got Saquon. And I would rather have Saquon. I'm not big on re-signing running backs, but mm-hmm. he's such a key to your the, your offense's success because he can run the ball. He can catch the ball out of the backfield. He's improved in pass protection a little bit. That's still something you they're going to work on, but I think if there's a guy that can do it and get, get Saquon to do it, I think it is Brian Dable. And then if you remember, I think, you know, um, is it is it Andrew Thomas, their left tackle? Yep. First round pick, 2020. Well, they're going to have to pick up his fifth-year option um, here in two months in March. And then he's going to be looking for a contract extension here shortly, too. So, you know, new administration in New York, they are going to have a lot of tough decisions to make on who to pay and who not to pay and who left to just walk right out that door. And it's it's the Giants, so who cares? Yeah, they don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I know. I think I. Well, you're a roommate. That's the only Giants fan I know. I don't know any other Giants fans. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the only one I got. Also, like I know more Jets fans than I know Giants fans, and I don't know many Jets fans either. No. Like I don't like where where do these people come from? Like Queen. Like how? Like do they just come out of their burrows? Or or what's going on? Like, well, and and I mean, it's in New York, and we don't care to ever go visit that place with a bunch of snarky assholes. But, but, yeah, Eagles both both just, um, you know, both uh, fan bases. They're better than us because we're poor Midwestern people. Oh, you know, they live in the big city, the, the city that never sleeps. Um, you know, it's one of the seven best cities in the world. Everybody wants to go here. Blah, 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 blah. Say that from your $3,500 a month studio apartment that you're sharing with two other people. More, more, more than that. Well, I'm saying a small studio. You're sharing three. Where they don't have a, they don't have an oven. They just have a hot plate. They just have a their hot... fridge. Their fridge is a mini fridge that's usually here a beer fridge. Yes. The, the rats are bigger than a loaf of bread out your window and they come in and they steal all your food you gotta fight with all the all the taxis and all this other stuff out there you're not allowed to have a car crime is through the roof crime is through the through the roof uh, um probably a bunch bunch of homeless people you got to deal with yeah that sounds like the the greatest city in the world yeah you know, oh, New York yeah. City that never sleeps. Yeah, because people are getting gunned down every 20 minutes. <laughs> right? But I, I suppose that's enough enough talk of, of that game. We probably spent more time on it than we should have. But Well, at this point, we were just bitching about the two cities. Yeah. Like two, two awful cities and two two awful fan bases. Correct.